everyone, and welcome to the She's Worth It podcast. My name is Olympia Ilyu Perry. I am a licensed financial advisor and strategist. Today, we will be going over visions and goals. The definition of vision is a path that gives you direction with imagination and wisdom. Sir Richard Branson says, your vision should be so, make, your vision should scare you. Let's start. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I should have. Hello, everyone. Welcome to She's Worth It podcast. I'm your host, Olympia Ilyu Perry. This is my second episode, and today we will be going over vision and goals. If you can't see where you're going, you won't reach your destination. Please remember to share and subscribe to the She's Worth It podcast. So let's get started. I want to tell you the definition of vision. It's the ability to think about a plan for the future with imagination and wisdom. The key components to creating a vision for your life is mindset, mapping, and execution. If you don't have the right mindset, that alone can be an obstacle to your success. Now, some people may say, oh, you know, that's just wishful thinking. No, 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 no. There's actually data and scientific data and proof that if you believe it, you can achieve it. It's interesting to hear people who succeed and how they talk about their visions about how they laid their plans out. Remember, one of the greatest things that has ever been said is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So let's talk about what it takes to be put in the right mindset. It's not wishful thinking, it's not magic. It really is your choice your mindset of, I am going to achieve this no matter what. That's step one. Step two, mapping it out. My vision board is right across from me and it's about this big. And I have all the things that I want to achieve for 2024. Write it out, put it in a place where you'll see it every single day. Put pictures to it. That will really draw you in and get you on the path to achieving those goals. If you think you have obstacles, that's okay. Those are bumps in the road. You're going to have potholes. You're going to have detours. You may have a bridge that you can't cross. But what you can't do is stop. Your mindset should drive you to continue to go. Sir Richard Branson, who was the co-founder of the Virgin Group, he says that your vision is not big enough if it doesn't scare you. And that's true. Don't think small, think big. Now, nothing is easy that's worth getting. Always remember that. Step by step, you start with the vision. Write it out, make it clear. Next thing is mapping. How am I gonna achieve that? What steps do I need to take? Is it, is it education? Is it getting to know someone, making a phone call? getting your family involved. What is it going to take 
to achieve those goals that you have on your vision board. Spell it out step by step. Your visions should wake you up in the morning and get you so excited to live life. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to be tired. I'm part of that 4.30 in the morning club. Even when I try to sleep in, I still wake up at 4.30 in the morning thinking, okay, what's today's goal? What what am I going to achieve today to hit the next item on my vision board? And that's important. That's the mindset that drives your passion and drives the next thing, which is execution. It's great if it's on a board, but if you don't execute, what's the point? As the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So make sure you lay out that plan. When I wake up in the morning on my big planner, what is it I have to do today to achieve that next goal? And map yourself out. What is it that you have to execute today to achieve that next goal? Now, I'm going to tell you a little story about when I started my vision boards. It was pre-pandemic. I'll never forget. It was 2019. I had never done a vision board before. I've heard of it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put all my effort into it. And I put some big things on it. What income I wanted to achieve. What what, um, licenses I wanted to achieve. In the financial services and everything, I'm always learning new things to make myself more knowledgeable and more be a better resource to my clients. I wrote down, I wanted to get a new car. I took a picture off the internet of the car I wanted and put on my vision board. I put down things that I wanted to see for my family. And I can tell you there was maybe about 10 items on that vision board. Nine of them came through because every morning I took a look at it and decided I was going to make that happen. The first one that happened in February almost spooked me. The exact picture of the exact car that I wanted when I went to the dealership because my car broke down was what the dealer offered me as a car. I could not believe it. The exact color, make and model. Don't be afraid to dream big. Now, I'm not saying that if you put a Lamborghini, that it's going to happen tomorrow. But no, but that's what you're striving for. And you put yourself in the mindset that what is it going to take to achieve that? And that's how you set up your goals. Now, before we get into any financial matters, as far as budgeting and everything else, this is so important because this is going to lay the foundation for all the other things we want to achieve. As I mentioned before, if you can't see where you're going, you're not going to get there. You'll get somewhere, but not where you want to go. You may hit a street, but you want to be on the avenue. So it's important for you to map it out step by step. Now, another key thing is when you are looking at your goals, it's good to have an accountability partner. My work partner is one of my accountability partners. My best friend is one of my accountability partners. Now, sometimes vision boards are very private. You may not have to share the whole thing, but some key things you should say to your accountability partner, this is what I want to do this week, this month, this quarter. Because not that they're looking over your shoulder, but they can be your sounding board. You can, they check in with you and you, I check in with them all the time. And that's important. That's very important to have someone that you can turn to and say, you know, this week was really bad. I didn't, I didn't even get 10% into what I wanted done this week. That's okay. You don't give up. 
The hardest thing is getting back up and dusting yourself off. Because you are almost at the finish line. Do you know the hardest challenges that I ever had was right when I was at the finish line, right before I was going to cross over and hit that goal? That's when you know that you are on the right track. When it starts getting hard, you're on the right track. So don't give up. Reach out to that accountability partner. It could be one, it could be two, but that's an important element for you to have. And then it's very important when you start this journey, before you even start writing your vision board, find a quiet place. Sit down with yourself. We're always on the go. Sit down with yourself and really think, what can I achieve this year? Is it saving $100? Maybe it's saving $5,000. Write it down. Is it that I want to make sure my child is on track for school? Write it down. But in order for you to hit your vision, you need to go into a quiet place to be still and listen. The universe will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you if you just take the time and listen. So now that you've got the right mindset, you've mapped out what you want to do, you have your execution plans, you are on the way. Lay it all out, get a fancy board. I went to Walmart. They had these great boards with with glitter all over it. Whatever is going to excite you. Because again, we are visual people. Humans are visual. They like to see things. I've got all kinds of colors on my board because I know that that will keep me engaged, keep me on track to hit my purpose. Don't ever sell yourself short. Whatever it is that you can, you, you are dreaming, you can achieve. Little by little. Well, you know, Olympia, my goal is really big. It's, it's, it's almost, it's almost crushing. I want to get out of debt. I want to buy a house. I want to be able to be financially um, stable. Don't laugh, but how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's how you move forward. One bite at a time. One small step at a time. Whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And you know what? If you take one step back, that's it. That's fine. Put your boots on and move forward. There have been some days where I've had to reach out to my accountability partners. I've had to look at that board and say, really, are you gonna really do this? Yes, yes I am. Because believe in yourself that you can achieve what is on your vision board. Now, there could be some outside forces that may delay it, but a delayed dream is not a dead dream. Your vision can move on. No one says that that one thing that I did not achieve in 2019, I put it on the 2020 board. First thing in January, I put it on the 2020 board and I hit it in 2020. That means you can do it. You can do it. Start with the vision board. That will be your foundation for all the great things that we're going to review going forward. Your budget, your cash flow. How should you maximize your savings? Getting the right strategies to pay your debt. Setting up your retirement. Setting up 
a fund for your kids for education. Looking at what other things that you can achieve as far as growth and um, a financial impact that you can have for your family. It all starts with that vision board. Now, several people may be naysayers. Don't listen to them. I hate to put it like this. If your husband's not on board, if your wife's not on board, if your significant other's not on board, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But that doesn't mean that you're going to die of thirst. You do what you want on that. You put what you want on that vision board and you step out in faith. Every morning, check in with it. Look at it. I read it for everything I want to reach. And then I start my day. Map out what it is I need to do for the week. Map out what I need to do for the day. And move forward. If there's anything that I leave you with is if you order your steps, you will reach the, the, the door. If you're not marching in the right direction, that's okay. You need a detour, you hit a detour, that's okay. Because what do you do? Do you stop? No. Dust yourself off and move forward. I can't tell you the, the situations that I've been in that I didn't know where my next opportunity would come from. And that happens. I didn't know, am I going to survive this? Is this really going to, am I going to get out of this mess? The only thing that has helped me move forward to where I am now is confidence, discipline, and faith. The three magic combinations. It's important before anyone can achieve a dream is to believe in yourself. That's why it is so important to start off with the vision board. If you see it, you can achieve it. Just keep saying that. If you see it, you can achieve it. Step by step, little by little. I hope this message stirs in you an excitement, a passion to run out there and get some crayons, print things out in color, cut things out from a um, magazine and lay it all out. I may not be able to see it, but I know that in the next, by my next episode, there is going to be vision boards around the world that are gonna be springing up and it makes my heart so happy because that's the beginning of you achieving your financial goals. Remember to share and subscribe and thank you for visiting She's Worth It. Have a great day.